According to me, this is a myth. I'm not saying it can't be true in some cases, but just like with aliens, there are not concrete proof of this. The reason so many people believe this is a proven fact is an article from Battery University from more than six years ago. The only source I could find is the 2016 research paper modeling of lithium ion battery degradation for cell life assessment. But it's not clear where Battery University got these magic numbers that if you don't limit depth of discharge, your battery will reach end of life in 300 cycles. But if you limit it to 10%, you can reach 6000 cycles and double the amount of energy accumulated. I mean, no disrespect to Battery University, but this is not a university. The site owner Istor also has the company Kadex which sells battery testers and analyzers and is not writing this as an independent university professor. I have tried reading the fools but I cannot find any proof that this is actually the conclusion the research team reached. Study like this also needs to be peer reviewed, meaning another independent scientist does the exact same research and comes to the exact same conclusion. Even then, in many cases, it's not even correct. Probably we know there is not one single chemistry that is used in lithium, but there are rather thousands of different cell manufacturers, everyone with their unique mix and design with very different mixes of other chemicals. What exact chemistry or even cell manufacturer they test is not mentioned, but they do mention it's a semi-empirical study, and empirical in this case means assumptions or simplifications. And due to the report having mathematical formulas in most paragraphs and 60 sources is most likely an empirical study based on other people's research data and not doing any actual testing of their own. The short battery university most likely is referring to is this. And at rate 7 it has only amounted 13.3% of the same amount of energy produced at 4000 cycle as the rate and rate 7 has only produced 13% of the amount of energy at 4000 cycle as the rate 1 has. If we take that times 4000, then we only have produced as much energy as rate 1 has at cycle 500. And rate 1 had 95% of its capacity left at 500 cycles, while rate 7 only had 94% capacity at the 4000 cycle, where it have amounted the same amount of energy. So do not compare apples to oranges. You will of course get more cycles if you limit the DOD, but you will not create more amp hours or watt hours. Most likely it's the same or even less. So to recap, I don't believe Battery University's interpretation of the data in the 2016 report is accurate. And it has led to widespread rumors in the do-it-yourself community that limiting DOD will instantly and universally lead to longer battery life and more accumulated watt hours. The reason I even started doubting this in the first place is my own experience from testing 10,000 plus e-bike batteries. I don't know of a single battery manufacturer in the world that limits DOD in any of their product. If there was a consensus in the battery community that this was optimal, why has not a single battery ever been produced commercially this way? Also in my experience in testing more than 50,000 individual battery cells during the years, the 8650 cells that had the most capacity left after the longest time had been Panasonic CGR18650 with many in the 90 to 100% capacity left. These resource for 10 year old Promovec and Porta power batteries produced between 2008 and 2012. And guess what? Most of these batteries were charged using chargers with an output of 4.25 volts per cell and balancing it down to 4.2 volts. Unless there is more actual proof, I don't believe limiting DOD will make your battery last longer or produce more watt hours in its service life. <laughs>